Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech and in today's video we will do a full comparison between the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 versus the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. The Note 9 was released in August 2018 and quickly became one of the best smartphones ever created with minimum compromises while the Note 10 Plus was released in August 2019, the successor to the Note 9. So naturally, people want to compare the two and ask questions such as, do I upgrade from the Note 9 to the Note 10 Plus? Or if I'm in the market to buy the Note 9 or the Note 10 Plus, which one do I get? So in this video, I will answer those questions directly by doing a full and complete comparison of every aspect of these smartphones. In the end, we will tie everything together in a conclusion to give you precise answers. Let's get started by taking a look at the build and design. Now before we dive in, if you find my videos useful, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online also for the latest updates. All right, let's dive in. Both of these smartphones follow a similar build. They use Gorilla Glass for the front display and for the back panel while a metal band secures the edges. It's a tried and true formula and the final result is a solid build and a million dollar in hand feel. Now when it comes to the actual design, we, we do have some differences. The Note 9 has no notches or holes in its display and offers a nearly all screen display with extremely small bezels the Note 10, on the other hand, comes with a center cutout on its display, which does house the front camera, a process which allows Samsung to make the bezels even slimmer, bringing the Note 10 one step closer to the future of true all-screen displays. The overall design of both of these smartphones is sensational, with the only major difference being the hole with super thin bezels versus no hole with slightly larger bezels. And of course, on the rear, you have a vertical layout on the Note 10 and a horizontal layout on the Note 9. In a few minutes, I'll play videos on both smartphones to give you a side-by-side -side experience on how movies and games will look and feel on either smartphone, but let me quickly talk about some other features. Both smartphones are IP68 grade water resistant, which means they can easily withstand water splashes, rain and dust. That's just fantastic. They both have stereo speakers, including Dolby Atmos sound. As a result, both phones will produce loud and rich sound, which is great for watching videos, playing games, or listening to music without headphones. But if you do desire a headphone jack, only the Note 9 will come to your rescue as the Note 10 does away with the headphone jack. So far, we both have equally valuable smartphones built with quality, designed expertly, and loaded with useful features, with the Note 9 taking a slight lead due to the 3.5 millimeter jack. Now let's move on and talk about the processor, memory, and storage. The Galaxy Note 9 sports a Snapdragon 845 processor, offers six gigabytes of RAM if you get the 128 gigabyte model, or eight gigabytes of RAM if you get the 512 gigabyte storage model. The Note 10 has a Snapdragon 855 processor, and offers a massive 12 gigabytes of RAM standard, and also offers a higher 256 gigabyte base storage model. Both smartphones also offer microSD expansion to add even more storage if required. Note 10 also uses faster UFS 3.0 storage on their smartphone for improved performance. Now it is clear that the Note 10 here has seen an upgrade. You have more RAM on the base model and a newer and faster processor. As you can see, the benchmarks favor the Note 10. In this category, the Note 10 is in the lead based on pure numbers. But it is essential to understand that the real world everyday performance on both smartphones is rock solid. Whether you are gaming, browsing, or watching videos, everything will work without lag and swiftly. Now let's move on and talk about the dimensions. Side by side, they have the same footprint, but it is clear that the Note 10 is able to offer a larger dis display despite similar dimensions. Nobody really cares about the dimensions anymore, so let's move on to a more important category, the display. Note 9 has a gorgeous Super AMOLED 6.4 inch display with a, res with a resolution of 2960 by 1440 and 516 pixels per inches. It also supports HDR10. The Note 10 Plus has a gorgeous dynamic AMOLED 6.8 inch display with a resolution of 3040 by 1440 and 498 pixels per inches. It does support the newer HDR10 Plus version. 
When it comes to the quality of these displays, they both offer a top-notch display experience. Just look at how crisp and clear they are. The Note 9 takes a small lead due to its HDR10 Plus compatibility, and there is certainly some slight enhancements in display quality as well, but nothing to sing hosannas over. The bigger concern is going to be whether or not you want a hole free display versus one that does have a hole known as the Infinity O display. So you can see them side by side, and in my opinion, the hole isn't too big of a deal, and the extra screen real estate is welcome on the Note 10. However, Note 9 still brings to the table a hole free and a notch free display that some people might be more attracted to. Now let's move on and talk about the actual software experience. Both smartphones run on the latest version of Android with the new One UI overlay, so essentially the software experience is going to be identical on both smartphones. Both have the new and cool night mode, which gives you a dark, easy on the eyes theme. Both have the latest Android Pie features, and both have all the Samsung specific perks, like the fully customizable edge panels that offer a bunch of very useful side screen widgets, such as calculators, compass, weather, and much more. Both phones also offer the S Pen functionality. S Pen is a multifunctional tool that brings a new dimension of functionality to these smartphones. It allows for precision writing, precision sketching, and precision drawing if you desire. You also get access to the Air Command menu on both smartphones, which has some useful functions. Finally, with the S Pen, both smartphones are able to use the S Pen as a remote control to control your smartphone from a distance via Bluetooth. For example, both S Pens can be used as a remote shutter button to take photos remotely on the camera app. The only thing is Note 10's S Pen has a few more extra remote control gestures that, ex that extends this remote control functionality where you can wave the S Pen up or down or left or right to control your Note 10. Not a big deal, but you do get the extra remote control gestures this way. Let's move on and talk about the camera. So the Note 9 has dual rear cameras, while the Note 10 has quad rear cameras. Basically, the Note 10 has two extra cameras on the rear that adds a new way to take photos and shoot videos. As far as quality, Note 10's standard wide-angle camera and the telephoto camera are nearly identical to Note 10's standard wide and telephoto. However, the Note 10 offers a super wide-angle option that might interest some people as it can take gorgeous sweeping photos. And the fourth 3D depth camera on the Note 10 allows for background blur while recording video. As far as front cameras, they both get the job done of taking selfies and video conferencing without problems, but the Note 10 does have a wider view angle which does help with group photos. When it comes to video recording, both phones can record in 4K or 1080p at 30 or 60 frames per second. They also have super slow motion recording at 960 frames per second, so mostly the video quality is the same. However, Note 10 brings a new feature to the table known as Super Steady Video Recording, which does an amazing job of stabilizing video over the Note 9. Note 10 is also more capable for nighttime shots. Again, daytime shots on either phone is equally amazing, but if you take a lot of photos at night, Note 10 does have a lead and a dedicated night mode option. So to summarize, both smartphones do have flagship worthy cameras. However, the Note 10 brings two extra cameras to the table, offers superior video stabilization, and has the night mode. So all these things in combination give it a lead over the Note 9 as a total package. If you're not deep into photography and are satisfied with the options that Note 9 offers, which are still plenty, then you don't have to worry about the camera too much. But if you do want that wide angle camera for any reason, better nighttime shots and better video stabilization, then camera becomes important. Basically, the Note 10 offers more versatility in the camera department, so it does have a lead. Now, for now, let's move on and talk about the battery and battery-related features. The Note 9 has a 4,000 mAh battery capacity, while the Note 10 has a battery capacity of 4,300 mAh, and that's it. 200 mAh of extra battery capacity might get you 15 to 30 minutes of extra battery life for everyday use, so the actual battery life isn't a big deal. Now, both smartphones do have fast charging and fast wireless charging. However, the Note 10 has significantly faster charging times for wired charging. It charges from 0 to 100 with the included power adapter in around 65 minutes. That's one hour. The Note 9 takes around one hour and 55 minutes. That's a huge difference. Note 10 also charges 
faster wirelessly. On top of that, Note 10 also has the wireless power share feature, which basically transforms your Note 10 into a wireless charger so you can charge other smartphones that support wireless charging. And especially useful is the fact that you can charge other accessories such as a smartwatch or your wireless earbuds. So the Note 10 has a clear lead in the battery department, faster charging and more features. Now let's talk about biometrics and security. So the Note 9 has three ways to unlock your smartphone. It offers an iris scanner, a standard face unlock, and a physical fingerprint scanner found on the rear of the device. The Note 10 offers two ways to unlock your smartphone. It offers a standard face unlock and a brand new in-display ultrasonic fingerprint sensor. Basically, I'll give you my personal opinion here and state that I much prefer a fingerprint sensor that is on the front of the display not only is it extremely practical and convenient, but also it is a very attractive feature from a technological perspective that it's built into the display. It's got that futuristic science fiction appeal. I would certainly prefer this over an iris scanner unless the iris scanner was also built into the display. As for pricing, Note 10 Plus starts at $1,100 while the Note 10 officially starts at $1,000. However, Note 10 is going to be available for much lower prices all the time. So those are the prices. Now let's tie everything together and draw a conclusion. All right, so how do we draw a conclusion? Very simple. Let, let's list all the notable advantages of the Note 10 over the Note 9 and see if the difference is worth an upgrade. Note 10 has a faster processor, higher base RAM and higher base storage. Note 10 has faster charging and the wireless power share feature. Note 10 also has an in-display fingerprint sensor. And finally, Note 10 does have better cameras and more camera versatility. And that's it. I do have to be very clear and state that though these are notable upgrades, they don't amount to anything revolutionary other than the in-display fingerprint sensor, which I think is high tech. So even though we have a lot of upgrades, it's nothing to go crazy about, especially when you're comparing the Note 9 to the Note 10. So if you do currently own a Note 9, there, there really is no compelling reason to upgrade. If you did have a Note 8 and you wanted to upgrade to the Note 10, I would say that would be a sensible upgrade, but Note 9 still has high-end performance, strong multimedia features such as stereo speakers with Dolby sound, has a headphone jack that the Note 10 lacks, has several biometric options for versatility, and of course has the powerful S Pen with almost the same functionality as the latest S Pen. It certainly is quite an attractive package overall and a true power phone. Now the Note 10 is definitely slightly better, but still there's no need to upgrade. Do upgrade only if you must have the latest and greatest on the market. And we do have people like that, including myself. Now, if you are in the market to buy the Note 9 or the Note 10, I might even say get the 9 because it can be acquired a lot cheaper and has maximum features. However, again, the Note 10 should be acquired for people looking to get the latest and greatest. And that brings us to the end of this video. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know exactly what you did, what you own, what you upgraded to, and your feelings. So drop them all down below. I will see you guys in the next video. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.